Well, well, well. <laughs> it's a sad day over here in the Rice household. Because it appears that Donald Trump is going to be the president for another four years. And so I uh, just wanted to tell congratulations to all you people that uh, support him over here at Bone First Community. And um, we'll see. I hope he uh, take the high role and don't be vindictive. Uh, but I got a feeling that he's going to be a very, very vindictive and all I got to say is, Joe Biden, you better go back. You better finally get caught in a lie. I know we all lie, but we always got to say prove a lie. Well, you did tell us a few months ago that you wouldn't pardon your son, but you better pardon your son if you want to have Thanksgiving dinner next year with your kids. And so make sure you pardon uh, your son, Joe Biden, because if you don't, he going to be at one of the roughest federal penitentiaries in the United States of America. That vindictive man, Donald Trump, going to get him. And he got four years to do it. Okay, so, God, it seems like every week there's more lawsuits or new lawsuits. Um, last week, another lawsuit came out where Diddy was accused by a 17-year-old and a 10-year-old. Um one of which was trying out for the making of the band and he was he claims that he was assaulted did you see that and do you have any opinions about more and more young men coming forward yeah man well i think that 10 year i don't know about 17 year old that's one on one or the 16 year old you said 17 i think i heard 16 but you you normally right but I don't know about uh, that particular victim because that's going to be one-on-one -on -one and, you know. But that 10-year-old one, y'all, he done laid out about two or three people that was involved in that. I think he laid out a bodyguard. And this is 2003, y'all. 2003, 2000. Man, it's getting close to Gene Deal time, y'all. <laughs> it's getting close to those days, y'all. But I ain't saying it. I ain't saying it. But it's getting close, y'all. He definitely got to know who this particular bodyguard is. Now, uh, this young guy, a uh, young man, I guess he's a young young man now, but he was a boy then. He said that he was flew across town with a, a, a talent agent, right? That had a relationship with Diddy to get him in a meeting. To meet with Diddy, a 10-year-old. A talent agent. That person right there, whoever that person is, definitely will be before the grand jury within a week or two. Because they want to know, did this happen? Did you fly across the state and take him and y'all have a meeting with Diddy? A victim like that, y'all? Game changer. Game changer, y'all. And... There's too many people that's not connected to Puffy, which I believe if that talent agent did that and brought him and left him in a room alone and all of that, if that all come out to be true and this kid can show that he's been having some type of uh, psychological issues and substance issues now and, and things like that, y'all got to just stop defending Diddy, y'all. Those are the few of y'all that's in the comment section. Why are you always talking about Diddy? This channel, I remember y'all used to say all I talked about was Snoop. All I talked about was Shug. All I talked about was Death Row business. Now I'm talking about something different. All you talk about is Diddy. No, I talk about whatever gonna get us some motherfucking views and whatever the hot topic is. Okay, motherfuckers? So before you waste your time typing that, if you don't like it, check the motherfucking off. I don't make you click on Bomb First channel when you see Reggie Wright face. All right, back to reality. So my only point is, y'all, my only point is that victim could be damaging. That person that transported him and brought him over there I hope like hell it ain't KK. 
but that person will be damaging the Diddy. Uh, the bodyguards that they are naming now, you notice on both of those complaints, they all said a bodyguard took and locked them in a room. And I even think one of the persons got dismissed from the, from the making of the band show because they didn't want to get down with the bodyguard. Sick shit, y'all. Sick shit. Mail on mail. Okay. I said I ain't going to say that no more. Mail on mail with a kid. That's a kid. It's some sick shit, y'all. I'm sorry. It's sick. And if any of these things are true, I'm just glad there's other people now that's involved in their naming so the, the grand jury can investigate and talk to these people and bring these people in. Because they go, everybody ain't going to protect Diddy. And that would be what I see, what I think. I'm just waiting for December, y'all. <laughs> I may even push it back to before Thanksgiving, y'all. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of people in that New York jail. And there's going to be a lot of people going before the grand jury. As y'all know, y'all see it's still going on. I know a lot of people are like, there's only one victim. I told y'all, that was just to get that predator off the streets so he can stop threatening and, and doing all of the particular thing. I still stand by my bail schedule comments that Puffy or Diddy should only have a bail that one alleged victim has for that accusation. But once you get all the alleged victims, that's it appears going to be coming forward. I think we up to what, 23, 25 lawsuits now? Might be even a little more. I don't know. I don't keep up. But all I'm worried about is the kids and the ones that have been showing that they've been seeking psych psychological help and the ones that's on tapes that just found out what had happened to them. All the ones that's coming out, even this 17-year-old young man, I wish he would have came forward a little sooner. I understand kids believe that. And I, I don't understand it. I know a lot of people don't understand why. Oh, I'm going to kill your parents. I'm going to kill your parents. I have never been threatened like that, so I don't know. But I have heard that a lot. When people say, when you make threats that you're going to do act of violence to their, their, their mother or their father, that kids sh shut down. I can't speak on that, to, to, to talk negative on that, because that has never happened to me. But that makes me go, um, when I hear people say that, that's why they didn't come forward. Out of fear that something was going to happen to their parents and stuff. But it's obviously, obviously a true thing that goes on to people because we have heard it a lot of times. So uh, I guess I have to give people that that's the reason why they don't come forward a pass because it's not just one or two people that says that. A lot of the females that over here in Vaughn First been on my case because they felt like I've been um, coming down hard on victims that don't come forward. I might have to walk that back a little bit because yeah, you're right. I've never been victimized like that, so I don't know uh, how, you, you know, that acts or how a person deals with stuff like that, that, you know, that, that traumatized them that, that way. And I may be coming a little bit too hard, but my only point is I believe at some time, other than when a new law come out that says you can file, uh, you know, you can file back on these cases, that they outside the statute uh, uh, that we thought was outside of the statute of limitation. And now that you have attorneys that are putting up 1-800 numbers and all of that, now that you all of a sudden got enough guts to come out and and testify or or or, or make the claims now, I just find that a little suspicious. But okay, that's Reggie Rice's opinion. It don't make it right. And so I'll walk those back. Apologize to any of victims that I, uh, or people that were not even his victims that were in other simulate, similar situations. Because some ladies have expressed that 
in the comment section over here that, you know, it took them a while to come, come forward. So I apologize to, for offending you guys, but really think about it. Don't you believe, do you believe all of the victims, the people were victimized like they were, like they alleged to be? I believe there's some. I just don't believe there's as many that's been reported. 